Well, we have great players around us that are also great set piece takers, <laughs> not only me. Um, and um, you have to give, if you don't feel confident enough to take that, that free kick, someone else needs to do it. And I don't think there's been any faults in, in our game. Um, obviously, you win some, you lose some. Um, to me, I believe that South Africa hasn't lost a game throughout this whole tournament. Today was determined on penalties, which is really unfair for both teams. Um, but for us, I think we are warriors. We have really played extremely well throughout this whole tournament. Um, we made big names for ourselves um, and displayed really fantastic football throughout the tournament. So we need to keep our heads out high, be proud of what we have accomplished. We've came here to qualify for the World Cup. We have done that. And unfortunately, we're not taking the trophy home. But I think our opportunity will come because South Africa is on the heels of other African teams. Well, did they not have a hard time tonight? Uh, they found it really difficult to break through that opportunity, penalty that they missed. Um, but after the, the game, speaking to some of the players, Dega, Ashiola, uh, we really put up a good fight against them and they struggled to get past us. Um, so yes, in future it will probably be again South Africa, Nigeria. Um, and we just have to move on from here and um, see where everything else leads us to. Yeah, I think uh, I always give my best. I leave everything on the field. Um, I don't want to live with a regret in the back of my mind knowing that I could have given more. And I think today I feel that um, throughout the whole tournament and I keep telling my teammates that we should walk with our heads held high and feel proud in our hearts because we have given everything throughout this tournament. Um, and it's just unfortunate that, that it was decided on penalties. But for me personally, I am proud of what I've accomplished. Um, wanted to reach my dream to get to the World Cup. I've done exactly so. Um, and who knows, maybe I'll be in another AFCON tournament. Maybe not. Maybe. Well, we're going to have good preparations. I know the backing of our association, the backing of our sponsor, Sassel, uh, will allow us to... Um, compete against really strong teams to prepare us for the World Cup um, and when we get to the world stage we're not gonna um, we're not just gonna play for South Africa we're gonna represent Africa as a whole um, and we know we have our fellow African supporters behind us when we go there and show the world that African football has so much talent and they need to come to tournaments like this to see what they can what these players are able to offer in their teams abroad. I think the tournament has been fantastic. I think each and every single team that participated in this tournament was incredible. There was no easy game for any opponent. Um, and African women's football has really grown over the years and evolved into really strong teams. Um, we were all surprised by Mali being in the semi-finals and it's so fantastic to see. Of course, it was a surprise for Ghana not to be there, but that's what people expected. So now you have Mali there and other teams that are doing so well. Um, and that's just going to build women's football in Africa all right.